Sea Wolf Park near Galveston Island. And um, I actually came out here when I was a teenager, but I barely remember it. Um, there is a submarine and a warship out here that you could take tours of and check out. And so uh, we've been wanting to go do this for a long time. We came um, another day, um, but we came too close to when they were closing, so we weren't able to do it. So today we're finally going to go check this out. It's a little windy, cold front came through, but it's been 70s every day. And and it's just, not that bad out here. Yeah, it's only 60. It's, it's still in the 60s. I mean, everywhere else, what in the U.S., it's what, 40s, 30s, and 20s in some places snowing. So yeah, you can't complain. I just got a light jacket on. I did um, buy a Groupon to save a little bit of money. And get yeah, a it's like discount. 13 bucks for all three of us. Yeah. You just got to tell them your kid's three instead of four. Baby. This is our, our uh, road schooling field trip today. Road schooling field trip. So let's go see what they have to offer here. I've always wanted to go check it out, so I've always wanted to go in a submarine. I kind of like this stuff. Some of you have talked about living on a boat. Some of you have lived on a boat, or you want to live on a boat. I could probably live on this. I mean, I could fish. Look how, this, look how big this deck is up here. I could fish up here all day. And I could go underwater to watch stuff I wanted to watch. Maybe not here where I'm at because it's dirty. The water is. Yeah, I could do this if I had a couple million dollars. I could do it. I guess I could ask Trump for something, right? I would never <laughs> so get it. So we're in the Ford Torpedo Room. So we're in the Ford Torpedo Room. This is the first one we came in. And it says that they could seat or sleep 12 people in here. Though I only see nine beds. It says you can keep, you can have 12 in here. And check this out. Look at these torpedoes. Look how big they are. Like, oh my gosh. If you hit by this, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going down. And check out the motors. I'm assuming this is what either fires or torpedoes, or this is the motors. So this is the bathroom, I guess. And there's a toilet paper roll there. I guess there was a toilet down there at one point. And I'm assuming there's some type of glass here. This looks like a kitchen, and if it is, oh my gosh. Well, I can't say anything. It's probably more than we got in our own kitchen in our house. RV. <laughs> Look, it's a comfy bed. It's a comfy bed? Yeah. You think? Yeah, I found another one. Ship's office? Oh my gosh. Daddy, come in here. Jeez. I would sink this sucker. So I guess this is where you would control the ship at or the submarine I have wow you. the gauges shallow depth gauge deep depth gauge stern planes stern planes indicator so it won't focus in here an incline meter are you taking us where we're gonna go yeah where are we going we're going to dallas going to dallas this is how you go to Periscope. Right up here at the top. Check out all these gauges back here. Boy, you don't want to screw any of that up. I can't imagine the training you have to go through to run all this. Jordan's standing in there, so look at this. She's four years old, and she can barely even fit. Well, she doesn't. Well, I'm three. <laughs> no, she's... So I guess this is where they ate at. Or hung out. Not much of a kitchen at all, but they would serve it right here. And that was the kitchen. It's actually cold in here, Mom. So this looks like this is living quarters. This is where everybody would sleep at. This was so good. So this is one engine. These are 16 cylinders. And the horsepower is 1,535. And I don't know if it's for all four or just one, but it's probably just one. Look how big this thing is. This is huge. This has got to be like, I don't know, 8 to 10. It's got to be about 10 feet long. And this is one. I don't even know where the rest of them are. Look at this. No joke. Now, this is a GM diesel engine. So, they probably pulled this out of commission just because it's a General Motors product. And it no longer runs anymore. Yeah, one main engine is 1,600 horsepower. Wow. Look how big this speaker is. Okay, this is... I'm like, why would you have such a big speaker in such a small space? But the reason is, I bet it's so loud in here 
Dad, you gotta have that. Oh my gosh. This is an air intake filter and silencer. Oh. Uh, you definitely would have to have uh, some earmuffs in here or whatever you want to call them. I found the other motors. Look at this. This is the one right there. This is two. And this is three. I just figured they'd have them all in one spot, but they don't. That's huge. Man. I don't know where the other one is, but I guess we're going to run into it coming up. Look at all these gauges. No wonder stuff happens on these submarines, you know? God, there's so much to go wrong. or I don't even know what any of this stuff does. Look how confined this is. You got to go sideways. Wow. That's insane. I'm bumping myself on through here. Wow. Oh my gosh. What are you supposed to do here? And that's what's weird. It's not like you can see where you're going, you know? It's not like you can see where you're going if you're controlling this. I mean, I don't even know. How, it's not like you can see. You're just going through the water, just hoping to God you don't hit nothing. Look at these propellers that they use for this warship. That's our next deal here to go on. That is huge. So it looks like these are depth charges. These would these would uh, shoot out the depth charges. It's kind of weird. They were set to pre depths. So I guess whatever you had it set to is what they would go. Whatever you put in there. They go to a certain depth and blow up. There's a whole bunch of these. There's four on this side. And I guess about four or so on this side. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, bathrooms. We've got the stalls on this side and the urinals on this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> There's not even anything underneath it. Well, I'm sure there was. Well, maybe you just sat something there and then dumped it over the side of the boat. Like a puppet. Oh, weird. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You would have no privacy at all. Kind of like living in an RV, right? Sorry about all the noise. They're doing construction in here, apparently. Sinks on this side and showers on this side. These are showers over here. So weird. So you got two right there. Maybe, and then you got one over there, I guess. Like a small one. Here. This is the ship store right here. Look, this is it. And there's not much in there. Look at that. So, <clears throat> back then, they were over several hours in the evening, and they sold cigarettes, soap, razor blades, shaving cream, sewing kits, and aftershave and other small items. <laughs> cigarettes. How weird is that? Look at this kitchen. Way bigger, way different. Because you got 200 men on this boat. Wow, look at this. Jeez, look at this old mixer. It's definitely a much bigger kitchen. Look at these. Wow. So it looks like this is an area where you hung out at and slept, I guess. I don't know if it's like a rest area or what, but this is an ice cream machine. These are tables. Uh, maybe this is like a food, maybe this is like a serving area, like for food or something. You can't see in here, they don't let you go in there, but that's how you control the ship. You have these little windows to look out and that's pretty much it. Look at this spotlight. Jeez, it's massive. That would be awesome. Boy, like it can really spin, dude. It's really heavy. But it spins with no problem. Just imagine stuff you could see with this. I mean, if it's that big, you could shine this anywhere anything you want so we just got back from uh, seeing the submarines and the warship it was pretty cool uh, it's very tight quarters there that's for sure I don't I couldn't have done it there's no way I'm going to go into those bathrooms and take a shower like that this is not gonna happen I mean there's already not enough privacy in an RV but in there man and all and, and all the other guys you have to know everybody really well that thing is thick too it's just I don't know it's so thick I wish I could see a modern one though because a lot of those gauges were massive and huge and it's, it's old. I think the thing was built in like the 1940s. I would like to have seen the newer modern ones, which I'm sure I could YouTube it and see it all, but kind of like to see it in person, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, then we went after, then after that, we just kind of went over to the playground, let Jordan play around a little bit. I went to the bait shop and kind of chatted up the guy about, you know, what's, what baits people are using right now and what's running, which is mostly flounder, um, which I don't ever catch flounder. I've never caught a flounder. I'd like to. I just don't ever you know try and cast out there and catch that stuff so 
Now we're going to go back into the house, cook some dinner, and I'm probably going to play some video games. That's, that's my day. So we'll catch you guys later. Y'all have a good one. Oh my God. She decided she's going to go out here when all the water came out of this little bay area because she wanted to check out all the stuff down here. Ah, I got it. But she actually got out of there somehow <laughs> without sinking in it. I want to go down there. I started moving. <laughs> Look at the boot, man. <laughs> okay, that did not work.